Did you know you can hook up Google Analytics to your Kickstarter page before you launch your project? In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up Google Analytics on your Kickstarter page even if you haven't launched your project yet and don't have a link for your project page so that you can capture valuable Kickstarter page visitor data for your next launch. Prepare to launch in three, two. Hello fellow comics launchers. My name is Tyler James with Comics Launch, bringing you the mindset, strategies, and tactics to crowdfund your projects on Kickstarter and beyond. And on this channel, we share proven tips and strategies for writers, artists, and publishers. So if you're new here, definitely subscribe. Now, on this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to connect Google Analytics to your Kickstarter page. This is something I tell my students and the creators I work with that they should do prior to every single launch that they do. And I'll likely make another video at some point explaining why hooking up Google Analytics is so important. But the goal of this video is simply to show you how to do it in just three simple steps. The steps are one, create a new property for your Kickstarter page in Google Analytics. Two, copy your new Google Analytics tracking ID for your Kickstarter page and three, paste your Google Analytics tracking ID on your Kickstarter page and then save. Okay, here's how to hook up a Google Analytics to your Kickstarter page before you launch your Kickstarter project. Now, this is a real Kickstarter page here that is, as you can see, it's not a live project. This is actually scheduled to go live tomorrow, but we have a real Kickstarter page. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make it so that this page has Google tracking code so that Google Analytics can capture all the juicy data from this page. So I said there's a three-step process that I'm going to show you right now, but in actuality, there is a step zero. Step zero is that you first need to have a Google Analytics account. Now, I'm not going to show you in this video how to create a Google Analytics account because it's super easy. Just go to Google, type in Google Analytics, you'll find Google Analytics. You will log in to your Google account or create a new Google account if you don't already have one, and Google will take you through the process. So at this point, I'm assuming you have an existing Google Analytics account and, or you've just created a new one. Now, I've had a Google Analytics account for a whole bunch of uh, different website domains, and so they're all listed here. But one key pro tip and something that is a mistake that you don't want to make is you don't want to just take one of your existing website properties, such as Comics Launch. You don't want to take Comics Launch and use your code there uh, because that's just going to mess up, mix up your existing website's data with what's going on over on Kickstarter. So what you want to do is you want to create a brand new property. So step one is to create a new property. To do that, you're going to go to admin, you're going to click on admin, and you're going to click create new property. Now what you're going to see here is just some simple information about this new property. And so what you're going to fill out is you're going to give this new property a name. I usually use the name of the Kickstarter. Uh, and the word Kickstarter. So this is Wailing Blade number one Kickstarter. And uh, you're going to, um, I'm going to skip website URL for one second. You're going to select an industry. You just have to pick one. I'm putting arts and entertainment. You're going to put in your time zone. So we are in New York time where I am. And you'll see this account has 21 properties and the maximum is 50. So with your free Google Analytics account, you can create up to 50 properties or websites or mobile apps or whatever you're going to do and have them under your one account. So I still got a ways to go before I use up my 50. Now, you do need to put in a website URL here to make this work. However, this is the problem that most people come up with. They say, well, I don't have my Kickstarter pages URL. I don't have my Kickstarter link to share with people before my Kickstarter launches. So what do I do? Well, this is actually not a problem. All I'm just going to do is I'm just going to take, I can really take any link, all right? But let's say I want to take my preview link because one thing that we know is preview links will eventually redirect to your Kickstarter page. So I can take my preview link here and just copy and paste it in here. And I'm going to hit the next step, which is get tracking ID, but this isn't going to work. Watch. It says property URL is invalid. And the reason this isn't going to work for my, for my link is because everything after this uh, question mark is a query and it's not going to let you use that, uh, that. And then the other thing that I did was I 
doubled up the HTTPS here. So the two things you wanna make sure that you do if you're gonna use your uh, preview link, and again, Kickstarter before you launch will always give you a preview link to your Kickstarter page. So here's the preview link. And I'm just gonna, you're gonna, uh, you can paste that link and use that link. Um, even before your Kickstarter campaign is live, you're gonna remove the HTTPS colon double slash slash. And then you're also gonna make sure that this doesn't end, that this doesn't have a question mark in it, uh, which is a query, and then this should work. So step two is after you've, you've set this part up is you're going to get your tracking ID. So I'm gonna click get tracking ID and there it is. So now what I have here is a tracking ID. Tracking ID is my unique uh, property ID for this new Wailing Blade number one Kickstarter. And this is the ID that I'm going to need to use over on Kickstarter. So now step three is to actually hook this link with your Kickstarter. So I'm gonna jump over to Kickstarter. I'm going to click the project that I am working on. I'm gonna find that. And you'll see again, this project hasn't launched yet. It, it's in, uh, I, I have submitted it to get approved. So it's actually ready to launch and it'll be ready to launch tomorrow. But I can scroll down here and I'm gonna go to basics. I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom and you see Google Analytics tracking ID. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to take this new ID for this new property that you just created, copy it, and then paste it right there. And then you're going to hit save. And that's all there is to it. Now there's one more thing you wanna make sure you do before you finish up your Google Analytics so you collect all the good data here. Now I'm back in Google Analytics and I'm gonna to go to admin and then I'm gonna click over here to e-commerce settings, okay? And what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to turn e-commerce settings on and then keep enable enhanced e-commerce reporting. You wanna keep this off. So on and then off and just hit save. And that's gonna collect some additional information for you with those e-commerce settings set up so that you'll be able to track actual backer dollars from different places. So that's how you do it. This page now has Google Analytics hooked up to it and very, very easy. But if for some reason you weren't able to hook up Google Analytics before your campaign launches, it's not too late. You can actually hook up Google Analytics to a live or even an already uh, run and launched Kickstarter campaign by clicking on menu and then going to dashboard and then scrolling all the way down to right above the activity feed, you'll see Google Analytics tracking ID. And this was for a past Kickstarter that I did and I had Google Analytics hooked up. So if you are late to the party, you can still hook up Google Analytics even after your campaign is launched. And you definitely, definitely should make sure that you have Google Analytics hooked up on every Kickstarter campaign that you launch. All right, your comics launcher for today's video is to leave a comment and let me know if you will install Google Analytics on your next Kickstarter page. If you got value from this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button for more mindset strategies and tactics from Comics Launch here on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching, and I can't wait to see what you launch next.